do you got a girl? Do you do like, or is it? Because I didn't, I, I didn't know. I don't know if it's the same. I don't know if it's multiple girls. I'm like, <laughs> is this got like? Do you do girlfriend and boyfriend content? Nah, or? look, look. So all right, I'm finna, I'm finna break it down. See, look, now everybody gonna know this is what they want to know anyway. You feel me? I'm okay. glad you said it. So me and this girl named Magic, she used to just do my videos with me. Like you feel me? Like she just in my videos, we cool. Like I follow her. She a vibe. You know what I'm saying? Then I might just have some little shit going on. Like I say. You can't be private with nothing. So mm -hmm. like I might just be kicking it with somebody. Somebody might take a picture or they might connect the dots or something. And they'll be like, that's what it is. You know? So that'll be that, for instance. But then, you know, you might somebody. It, it is, it you is. just say, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I didn't even know. I, I literally just went to the, the TikTok. You yeah. see what happened when I, bro, this is genuine. Question. Okay. So Chick Magic, mind you, I don't know none of these people. For sure. <laughs> so I'm just letting you know. Okay. So I got, I'm assuming you was doing content with the Chick Magic, for but sure. she probably was like consistent. Like yeah, that was probably like sure. your main. She, she be in my videos all the time. Okay. Thanks. But like you probably be out and people know who you is because you pop and they probably take a picture. Now it would look like, I guess people would assume that I'm you cheating, cheating on yeah, Magic. Yeah, because I'm going to be with somebody that I really, you feel me, talk to. Yo, this video is sponsored by Los Hermanos, and it's crazy because I always wanted to have a uh, tequila sponsorship. So shout out to my guys over at Los Hermanos for taking a shot with me, doing this partnership thing. I really appreciate it. Listen, I like it so much, I might just be worse than uh, Rick Ross, bro. So if you see me on the gram posting it all over my story and my gram, don't say nothing. Just go ahead and buy a bottle. I got it by the case. So look, we got the Blanco. We also got the Repo. And you know, my favorite is in Yeho, right? We got it on the way, you know. Like I said, we got it by the case, man. So listen, if you in Delaware, you in Georgia, you in Maryland, you in New York, you in Jersey, make sure you go to the nearest liquor store and ask for some Los Hermanos. Hey, my God. Yo, what's poppin'? You know what time it is? Your boy, Mr. J-Hill, J-Hill Podcast. We are in the building. Oh, man, it feels like we've been working nonstop for like a week straight. We are still in the studio. Shout out to the guys that's, that keep this thing rolling. Shout out to the procreatives. My guy Kyron is here. Dylan is here. Shout out to the, the team that's back home helping keeping this thing moving, man. You know, you just keep on going, man. This next guest is a special guy. This guy, I mean, on the rise. I told him he reminded me of somebody from Baltimore. I'm not on dim his likes by saying somebody else's name. But I remember we used to call this guy the, the richest youngin'. I feel like he, he looked like one of them richest youngin'. One of the hottest niggas coming up right now. Lord Darius is here. What up, brother? Yeah, man. What's happening, bro? I appreciate you for having All me, my right, dog. Bro. For you sure. You know the vibes. How you feeling, man? I feel good, bro. Yo, you the good. you you the first person that I um I had a meeting today. Yeah. And uh, the guy asked me very simple question, and I told myself my next interview I'm gonna ask that question. And the question is, how would you introduce yourself? It's a great question, man. I, I really don't know. Like, I'm just, I feel like it's me, so I don't want to just give myself just too much credit or nothing like that. But you feel me? I just be on some young, cool player, like, young nigga, like, it's mm -hmm. me. Yeah. Sure. But how would you introduce me? Like, I guess, because when I started, I was like, yeah, I'm J Hill. I do a podcast. Oh, okay. And okay. I didn't really go into, like, deep into my upbringing. Yeah. But as the guy that was, I was talking to, I had the meeting with, he was going into his upbringing and it made me think about all of the things that I actually been through. And I'm like, oh, wow, look at the similarities. Yeah, for sure. And I was interested, like, you could you could, you could tell a lot about a person by their introduction of who themselves are. Like, so yeah. if I if we were just outside of the podcast or whatever, I'm just like, yo, how you doing? Like, who who would you, how would you introduce yourself? Like, who are you? Shit. Lil Darius, rapper from Athens, Georgia, mm -hmm. from the country, like, Ain't really too much down there, you know what I'm saying? Shit. I just stayed down and hustled to get the way I wanted to be, you feel me? Like, just rap. Mm. And then, it's just me. What made you jump into the rap scene, man? Man, it was on some bullshit. Like, my partner then was in the studio. They rapping. I'm like, let me try everybody else rapping. So it was just like that. I did a song. I did like four songs that night with them, just trying it. They like, you actually hard, though. You feel mm. me? I did a little snippet. 
posted on my Instagram, bro, in my whole city, like, everybody was on the comments, like, bro, you gonna blow. Like, it's mm-hmm. my first ever song, though. Then folks just started fucking with me, and I just started growing from there. Is it something that you since have fell in love with, or is it still something that you're still figuring out? I'm most definitely still figuring it out, but... I mean, I grew a love for it over time because, of course, the money coming in, like, this is how I provide for me, my people, you know what I'm saying? So it's something that you just got to love, but it wasn't dead at first, though. Nah, mm. it was just on some playing around, trying it. But now it's more like a, I I got to do this. I'm starting to like it a little bit. I want to have fun with it, shit like that. So how did you, not taking it as serious as you are now, Yeah. How were you? Because you came up kind of quick, right? Like, it took you, like, what, a year? It felt long for me, but, yeah, but I got signed after I started rapping. I just told somebody else this. I started rapping after my birthday. It was February 26th. I went to the studio the first time. I got signed in next year in, like, May. Mm. So it's like a year. Yeah, like a year. So you getting signed within a year, you still figuring it out. How were you able to take it serious when you needed to take it serious, even though you might not? Felt like taking it serious. Uh, it was just like after people keep bashing it at you, like you the one, like you got to do this, like you feel me, you gonna have to, you just gotta lock in. Mm. Like so, probably like three, four months as I started rapping, just going to the studio every now and then. And then when somebody started putting money behind me for real, that's probably really what it was. Like somebody put some money behind me, I'm like, I right, I can't play with his money, you know mm. what I'm saying? So I gotta gotta really do it. He believed in me enough to. Spent his hard-earned money on me going to the studio, videos, features, whatever it might be. So I like, man, I just got to go hard and I got to take it serious. Now, before you made that first song, I'm assuming you had some motion. Yeah, like, people knew of me just, like I said, just on some player shit. Like, it's just what I be on. Get you some hoes, get you some money. Like, it's me. Mm. Like, so everybody knew me from that, like, in my city. I was just a cool-ass nigga that everybody fought with. Yo, I hear you talk about Athens a lot. Yeah. And that's in Georgia. Yeah, it's in, it's in Georgia. Ex- explain to me somebody who has no idea what anything outside of Atlanta is. Okay. So Athens, it's like an hour away from Atlanta. Mm-hmm. It's where UGA play it. Feel me? Like, it's just a regular little country town. Like, you feel me? You got, a, you got two sides, the east side, the west side. Well, three sides, east side, west side, downtown. Like, Downtown where UGA is, so niggas not really in tune with downtown like that for real. Um, shit, this this what it is like. So where I'm from, we got uh like it's Baltimore City, yeah, and then of course we got like the county. Mm-hmm. And um, I remember at a time where like when I was coming up, you would see county guys try their hardest to like do things to make a name for themselves. Yeah. Right? The, 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 so, that, so that people would know that, like, the county ain't nothing to play with either. Mm-hmm. I'm wondering, is it, do you feel that vibe in Athens as well? It's like, man, we a small town yeah. country. Like, we in Georgia, but nah, we we got our own motion. Yeah, that's, that's most definitely what it is. Like, everybody down there doing their own thing now. Like, most definitely because, I ain't going to just say me, but I I started rapping and I'm the first person from our area to even do anything like on the smallest scale that I'm on now. Like mm-hmm. I'm just the first person to ever do that. So of course when I'm putting on for my people, like and I'm shine I'm trying to shine light on them at the same time. So like everybody trying to pay attention to them and shit. So everybody doing their own thing. They trying to rap now and everybody got motion down there. Like it just turned the city up as a whole. Mm. But like we stand. We stand out in our own way. Like, of course, people be like, y'all trying to be like Atlanta or this, that, and the third. But we really be on our own little shit. But that's what I was wondering. Do you feel like that kind of, when I'm thinking about the environment. Yeah. Because sometimes when somebody's trying to prove a point, it could actually make it worse. And mm-hmm. I was wondering, do you feel like sometimes you see people in your city trying to do too much almost? Yeah, most definitely. Mm. It happens a lot, actually. Like, they just come with anywhere, though. Like, I feel like, um, anywhere, like, people from Miami might mm-hmm. try to act like they from there or whatever, you know? It yeah. just happens, shit. Flint and Detroit sometimes yeah. and shit happen like that, but, mm-hmm. like, it's just, it's just something that come with it, I feel like. How you take into the, uh, the success? Because I seen you, you did a, uh, like, a pretty big press run last year. Mm-hmm. I seen you do uh, Cam Newton, yeah. Ray Daniels, Adam 22 with Flacco. Yeah, yeah, I uh, did that for sure. Like, shit, you've been 
having real motion, man. How, how you taking to it? Um, it's cool to a certain extent. Like, I don't really, I I really don't like the fame though. Really, in a sense, like I don't, I hate it, cause like you can't even do normal shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't move around how I want to move around. Like as far as I just want to go kick it and. I might just want to go to the store, anything, you know what I'm saying? I might want to go out with my partner, them, and just vibe. You can't never do that because there's so much attention on you and these people there, and you don't know who might be on what. Like, the fame shit, it really weird. Yeah. yeah. No, I can get weird for sure, especially when you're not used to it because, like, you know, in where we come from in, in like, small places, mm -hmm. it's, like, you got to be careful getting too much love because yeah. it come with something. All the time. It's like, why why everybody want to be around me? Like, now I can't trust nobody. Yeah, for sure. And, and they be happening a lot, like, with music or just with just with having shit going on. Like, people want to come around you just for that. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, you get a lot of money and you just that nigga. Like, folks going to want to come around you and you never know people's intentions. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So, shit just be weird. At, you what, 19 now? I'm 19. At 19 years old, um... How do you look at it when it comes to the entourage? When you're talking about like people being around you? Because I know that for me at 19, and I feel like a lot of people my age at 19, we had dreams of making it so we could take all of our friends with us. Yeah. I I used to want to be that. Mm. Like I learned quick, though, like, this shit ain't right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wanted to take everybody. I want everybody to be with me, this, that, and the third. Like, everybody don't got your best interest at heart. Everybody ain't all for you. Everybody mm -hmm. don't want you to win. You feel me? Like, Niggas be hating, it be secret animosity, like, this shit bad. How did you yeah. learn that, though? Like, where Man, did the lesson recent, come from? Like, recently, like, it's just a lot of friends be falling off and all types of shit be happening, bro. Like, you just live and you learn, I feel like. My mama been telling me this since I was, like, little, though. Like, she mm. always tell me, like, watch the people closest to you and all this and that, but you just hear it going one yeah. go out the other. <laughs> but, like, now that I'm growing up a little bit and shit starting to happen, bro, like, Friends be falling off from just anything. Just niggas mm -hmm. wanna be you, all types of shit. Like they mad cause they not you. Like anything, yeah. it just be weird, man. How was the um? How was your parents taking it? Man, my mama and my daddy like my biggest fans. Really? Like, yeah. Like how how do you like that though? I love it though. Like cause we got a, a bond now. I got a bond with both on now. Like me and my daddy like this. Like they like my brother down there. Mm -hmm. Me and my mama like this. We used to bump heads like so much when I was growing up, but. Shit, when you get older, they just, you understand where they coming from. They understand where you coming from. You're an adult now. You're like, there's not too much they can do. So, shit, it's just like, we got to be, we cool. Yeah. I feel like for me, it'd be annoying still to this day because my mom's <laughs> like my biggest fan. But sometimes she get to call me, want to talk about the episode. I'm done yeah, past yeah, it. Yeah, I ain't going to lie, though. Yeah, she, she must definitely be on there. Like, she might call me, be like, I might send her some music or something. She'd be like. You gotta put this out. This this the next one. This that one. And like it be some shit that I don't even be liking. I'm like, yeah. mama, this shit ain't nothing. Like I yeah. got hard as shit. She like, this the one. You don't never listen to me. Like, you know what I'm saying? But right. You gotta yeah, listen to sure. it one time just to see. Just to throw I'm it out just there. See, it ain't yeah, see what mama do. How was your process of uh and I've I've rarely asked questions like this, but I'm curious with the big um age gap and generation gap. Uh -huh. How was your process of making music? And not just like in the studio or like not not I don't mean that, but when you make a song, right? What do you have to do following you dropping that song? I'm just curious. Man, I got to, like, I got to play it a couple times. Like, I got to play it a lot. Mm -hmm. I got to play it around certain people to get, like, people opinion on it. Um, I got to post, like, a snippet if I really like it, see what they think. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And that's how I really go off of it, honestly. Speaking of the snippet thing, you know, one thing I don't understand mm -hmm. is the 20,000 comments I'm going to drop. <laughs> And sometimes it'd be yeah. like, all right, so if you don't get 20,000 comments, are you are you not going to drop? Like, you yeah, know you want to drop anyway. And drop. then you just set yourself up. And then I know these young niggas, I know the game now. You probably get to sending it out to everybody in their DM. Like, that don't count. You can't make a I post. I don't, send, I don't send my shit out like that. You can't make a post and then share it to everybody be like, yo, Nig comment. Niggas be like that, though, because it's a couple niggas that done hit me up like that before, like, Sent me that shit like like and comment on my shit like yeah. I'm not if I want to like and comment I'm like and comment yeah you feel me but it, if you send it to me I ain't really too I mean it be certain little shit though when I go through my DMs like people be sending me music and shit they be like bro I'm a big fan of you I don't try to listen to this and see what you think that's hard you feel me so I go I go listen to some niggas you know you bless me. anybody yet or um that'd be hard 
That'd be like, fire. That's fire as well. Like, I don't know, like, just give a random nigga a feature. Like, don't oh, even yeah, announce yeah. it. I done did that before. Really? Yeah, like, I don't, be, I don't give a damn about, like, the money tip on features. Like, if I fuck with you, I fuck with you, bro. You know what I'm saying? If I fuck with your music, I fuck with your, your movement or something like that. I ain't big, big to the point where it's like, if I do this, it might change your life. But you feel mm-hmm. me? Like, even in a sense, though, like, shit, it might be big to that it person. It could, yeah, though. Yeah, how, like, many, how many listeners you got on um Spotify? Um, I don't know. It recently went down because I wasn't dropping though. Okay, like my shit was at like five hundred thousand a month. Okay. You feel me? I was gonna ask it you, how do you time. like that? That people can just go to Spotify and, and tell how many listens streams you got. I like it. It shows like the difference between certain, certain niggas like be acting like they dead and they listeners ain't even lit. You know what I'm saying? Like okay. they don't even have a lot. So I like the the feature. I like it as far as like research goes. Like mm-hmm. I said, I'm about to do an interview with somebody. I can tell if they've got real influence or not. Yeah. I do like that, but I'm just thinking if I'm an artist, I don't know if I would like it because now niggas in my business. If I want to stunt, I can't stunt. Yeah, yeah facts. It be, but I mean, shit, you don't need to be putting on. Like like I just told you, I don't know what my shit at now because I haven't dropped in a minute. So it'd be like that too. Like, you just dropped something recently. I dropped like songs, but I was dropping a mixtape every three months okay. when I first came out. Like this is what had me like, Moving, they like, oh, bro, really consistent and shit like that. And that's what I was going with the question before I even get into the song you dropped recently. Mm-hmm. I was going with the question about the process because I know, like, nowadays, the new wave is, like, music videos. Yeah, for sure. So I was wondering, like, is that, like, a must in, in your is. space? It is. You, you got to have music videos. But, like, with the TikTok shit now, it's so crazy. Like, you can go viral off of a clip. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, shit, that could be the content that you need, like. So you only have to do the whole video. You don't. It could be just real camera recording you a clip of the song with some little crazy shit going on in the background. Okay. It should go viral and people will be like, they just listen to the song though. Because there's a lot of so- shit that be happening like that with who like Baby Kill, for instance. Mm-hmm. He be doing his shit. It should be hard. And folks be like going to listen to his shit just off their little clip or something. Now it's TikTok. Again, we talk about this process, right? I'm just curious from your, from your, uh, your mind. Yeah. Is TikTok a part of that release? Like, I got to do something for... Th- like, that's a must? Yeah. Mm. My team, like, be on that anyway, though. Like, they be like, we got to post on all platforms. We got to stay consistent on these. Like, that's what keep you relevant. You know what I'm saying? Everybody on TikTok, Instagram, Reels, and YouTube shorts and shit like that. Like, yeah. this was going on. So, you just got to stay consistent, stay posting on all them. Feel me? Trying to I go saw... I, I went to your... I actually... I never opened TikTok for real, for the most part. But I went to your TikTok and... I don't know. Do you got a girl? Do you do like, or is it? Cause I didn't. I, I didn't know. I don't know if it's the same. I don't know if it's multiple girls. I'm like, <laughs> if this nigga got like, do you do girlfriend and boyfriend content? Nah, or? look, look. So all right, I'm finna, I'm finna break it down. See, look, now everybody gonna know this. Is what they want to know anyway. You feel me? I'm okay. glad you said that. So me and this girl named Magic, she used to just do my videos with me. Like you feel me? Like she just in my videos, we cool. Like I fuck with her. She a vibe. You know what I'm saying? Then I might. Like, just have some little shit going on. Like I say, you can't be private with nothing. So, mm. like, I might just be kicking it with somebody. Somebody might take a picture or they might connect the dots or something. And they'll be like, that's what it is, you know? So, that'll be that, for instance. But then, shit, you know, you might fuck with somebody. It, it is, it you is. just say, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I ain't even know. I, I literally just went to the, the TikTok. You yeah. see what happened when I, bro, this is genuine. Okay. okay. So Chick Magic, mind you, I don't know none of these people. For sure. <laughs> so I'm just letting you know. Okay. So I got, I'm assuming you was doing content with the Chick Magic, for but sure. she probably was like consistent. Like yeah, that was probably like sure. your she, main. She be in my videos all the time. Okay. Thanks. But like you probably be out and people know who you is because you pop and they probably take a picture and that would look like, I guess people would assume that I'm you cheating, cheating on yeah, Magic. Yeah, because I'm going to be with somebody that I really, you feel me, talk to. Okay. Yeah. Now was the Magic thing, was that a, a like a, Kind of like a gimmick, like you you not really answering questions if you is or if you ain't, just how y'all thinking or nah, like it re- we never never answer no questions. I guess you could say that. Yeah, so you yeah, had to get the audience thinking. Yeah, but I guess now you answering the question. That's not your girl. That wasn't. Nah, they weren't my girl. Okay, but y'all was just fucking around. Like, she, <laughs> don't answer that. <laughs> nah, she don't just don't answer that. That's you cool. Feel me? She just was my. It's, my, it's cool. Don't answer, bro. Don't answer. Don't answer. I got you, bro. Don't answer. Don't answer. Don't answer. <laughs> Oh, All right, so shit. mind you, I don't know because I think I seen, and I think I seen a brown skin chick, and and that might have just been some content. But then I kept scrolling. I think I seen a light skin, bro. I don't, I don't know, son. Like yeah, I don't know. They be on my ass about that. You know that they be on my ass. Like 
you talk to this person? Do you talk? I thought he was fucking with her. I thought, where the hell she come from? Like, they be on my ass. Do it help? Or when it comes to brand? Know. Just curious. I don't know. You it, know might, it might help. Sometimes it helps. Relationships help regardless, like For music sure. wise. Like, <laughs> this shit gonna take you out of here. The right relationship. Did you ever find that chick um, at the strip club that looked like, uh, yeah, she went fucking with me. I don't know why she went fucking with me. What was her name? Fucker. Um, fucker. <laughs> I think her name like Canty or some shit like that. And she looked like who again? She like Jada Waiter. Jada Waiter. Yeah, fucker. You is you you ran down on her? Nah, look. So I seen her one time. I got her Instagram. We was following each other. She I texted her probably. I don't think she texted me back. And then this was I was a young nigga though. Like I was seventeen then. Yeah. I was like young nigga. You feel me? So. I tested, she probably didn't text me back or something. Then she unfollowed me, I unfollowed her, fuck her. She just randomly unfollowed you? Yeah, like You must have fucked one of her homies then. Man, I don't know. I used to I used to be in Unis all the time when I was young. Like I used to be in Unis every night. I don't think you should say that because they probably get in trouble. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I mean, you already blur, said in other interviews. Blur, blur like, you already said it in other interviews, but I now I'm thinking about it. Like, nigga, you was young as fuck. I used to, bro, I've been everywhere. I mean, I guess nigga, don't, there ain't no age when it comes to that paper. Like, Man, nigga, yeah, you that, do, you that what paper. You want. I went to Unis with, um, with Harden one night. They was trying to trip on me. I had to call call people to get, well, he got me right in, but you feel me? Like, I'm like, y'all stop playing. Like, I be in here all the time. Like, mm. When I come with my man, y'all know he finna trip in here. Y'all want to try me like a little boy. <laughs> he was like, he was like, he with me, man. Come on. So wait, because that shorty you won it. Like you, you said this I publicly. Was really, I was really just tro on some troll shit. No, nah, I don't say it now because you're nah, I, I was on some troll shit. Like, you feel me? She looks great. I was just on some shit, young nigga shit, just talking. But in actuality, bitch ain't nothing. <laughs> I'm just being real. You feel me? Just, <laughs> this nigga is crazy. <laughs> Yo, right. so question, and back to business, we're going to come back to the fun shit, but the business side. Mm -hmm. When it comes to the TikTok videos, I don't need to know numbers or anything, but I know back in the day when it came to like signing, they would say a certain amount of mixtapes and things like that. Mm -hmm. And I know as you fast forward, they would even count YouTube videos and they would like try to like get a part, like partially of YouTube artists' YouTubes. Yeah. Are they doing that with TikTok now? Yeah, they, they, get, they get percentages out of TikTok too. Wow. Yeah. They be re recouping. Like, yeah. they be getting their money back from the advances and shit. So, they probably, they get TikTok, all that shit. Like, okay. So. I would, it's just crazy to see how far the music industry has come. Yeah, like, you know, you get paid for all this shit. Like, Instagram. Yeah. Uh, you feel me? Do you like TikTok over everything else? At first, I didn't like it at all. Like, but it's the most, it's the best way to get your music out there. Like, I feel like. You didn't like it at all? I, I would think you... I thought it was for the younger generation. I ain't like this shit. Why? Because of the dancing shit? Not even. It's just... I don't know. I just never liked it, that shit. Like, posting on there, just... I be hating that shit. They be trying to get me to do it now. I be damn near not want to do it, but I do it. So you still bit. fuck with Instagram? Yeah. I don't even like that shit no more. For real? That shit weak now. They got it like... Nigga be shadow banning and shit won't go how it's supposed to go. And they got... Music on the pictures now it's just fucking up everything like TikTok. Yeah. Like you know TikTok, you put the music on it with the slides. Yeah. Like this how Instagram is. They got the reels like TikTok, like all oh, that shit. Just and so you weird. don't like the music on the pictures? Hell. So nah. that's some old nigga shit. I thought that was cool. <laughs> I just. I mean, no, I ain't gonna lie. Niggas do that. It's just I just don't like it. It just give me like why y'all fucking up the app, man? Just keep it how it was. Damn, you made me feel like oh, I literally just made a po post with a picture. I put the music on there. I mean, I'm gonna probably try it because you know, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna try it. <clears throat> When I drop my tape, like I'm, all my shit probably gonna have my picture with a song on there, but I don't like that shit though. Yo, like my daddy came out how, how long ago? About like a month ago. Like a month. Yo, when it comes to the um, the relationships with like the older counterparts, mm -hmm. right? How are they taking to you? Like older audience, older artists, like peers. Oh, oh, um, but I ain't gonna lie, old niggas be down there. Like, hating on the young niggas. Like, not me, I ain't gonna say. Niggas be holding nuts on me. Like, a lot of artists just don't fuck with me. Like, I don't really. Why? Not even on no, like, like, I don't fuck with you, young nigga. But, like, I'm saying, they just don't, ain't click with me. Like, I feel like, um, like, niggas don't reach out on get features like that and shit. I don't be tripping or nothing, but I just feel like you gotta be at a certain extent, though, for niggas to. Yeah, niggas be on dicks. Like I mean, I know. Yeah, niggas be holding nuts. When, when was your birthday? February 19th. Yeah, nah, niggas be on dicks. Like, 
Yeah. I like your energy, but I was like, yeah, because I feel the same way you feel. But yeah, um, yeah, niggas don't be, I don't be tripping though. Like, I swear, they're going to make it like 10 times better when a nigga do what he supposed to do though, because then it's going to be like, yeah, y'all niggas been fucking with me, yeah. but y'all niggas yeah. trying, you know? Yeah, nigga. It be like that. Suck my dick, fuck you talking yeah, about. Yeah, for sure. Yo, okay. um, nah, I, 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 trust me, I feel you when you say that. I asked that I brought up like my daddy and I asked that question because I am an old nigga too. Mm-hmm. And like so when I when I heard it, first of all, I was curious, how did you get that cleared? My people know how to work, they move. I guess you could say. So I mean, Lil Wayne is one of your, like in your top five. Yeah, for sure. So if they can work that move, then they can work another move. I mean, they just gonna have to work the move, I guess. They gotta do it. You trying to get that feature? Yeah, I get a Wayne Fisher. You know, he just did some shit with Corday. That shit kind of hard. I did. That shit, yeah, hard. that shit hard. What, you, you fuck with Corday? He way older than you, too. I fuck with, I be fucking with a lot of different artists, bro. Like, I fuck with everybody for real, for real. I listen to everything. You listen to Logic? Nah, I, I don't listen to Logic. That was though. a trick. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, look, man. I done heard. I'm saying, look. I'm, I'm not shit, it, bro. I'm that was it, I'm gonna put it this way. That was crazy. I'm gonna put it this way, bro. I be like, if I run past it and I fuck with it, I'm gonna listen to it. Okay. Feel me? So I might not listen to all this shit, might not listen to a mixtape or nothing, but if it's a song that I'll just run by, I'll be like, oh yeah, I fuck with it. I was just joking, bro. Niggas always be talk, talking shit about logic, but whatever. <laughs> Yo, so okay, back to the song. So when I my first listen, of course. Is a sample, it's not mm. like my daddy. So I'm like, all right. But when you start rapping, it threw me off. Mm. But I'm an old nigga. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, let me take my my judgment out of it, right? Mm, yeah, yeah. And I'm wondering how old rappers are taken to it. Yeah. Like, was they hating on it? Or... Uh, niggas, didn't, niggas didn't really say nothing. People was fucking with it, though, like fans. They didn't okay. really get no too many rap niggas just speaking on it or saying nothing about it. Um, fans was fucking with it because it had a lot of bars and shit in it. So mm-hmm. like, that was really the whole... Inspiration around the shit like stunt like my daddy, Lil Wayne be having bars, but I had like new age bars and shit like that. So and then it's it was. super melodic. Yeah, yeah, I was on that bitch. Mm. When what when did this come into play? When you say like, well, I mean, I can hear it in Lil Baby. That's one of your top five. Mm. Uh, Lil Wayne when it like towards the newer end. I'm wondering like this melodic wave of rap. Yeah, who do you think is the? Because I don't think even somebody else, Young Boy, one of your yeah, top young five boy one, for sure. But, like, from your influence, where mm. did the melodic come from? I guess you could probably say future. Future in a sense, for sure. And then, and then like, bars-wise, like, I used to listen. When I was, like, eighth grade, like, young, I was listening to, like, uh, No Cap and um, Rallo. So you had a song, Rallo. Um, feeling like Rallo. Feeling like Rallo. It was, like, one of my favorite artists. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. No, that shit was crazy. I, um... Rallo Instagram is crazy. He be talking, he be saying some shit. Yeah. He be saying some shit. At like, first I was hating. You was hating on him? Not him, but like, cause he do the captions, right? Yeah. Like at first I'm like, what the fuck? But then as I started to like follow him and shit, that, really that shit be going crazy. He be yeah. saying stuff. He be saying some shit that'll go over your head. Yeah. yeah. Nah, nah, he nah. That shit hard. He most definitely will get you in one of those. That shit. What's what you think is like the hardest part of this this for you? Especially walking into taking it more serious, this industry shit. You got to realize that this shit is is all entertainment. Mm. Like, you got to realize, like, niggas going to fuck with you for beneficial reasons. Mm-hmm. You got to understand that um, this shit not really about you. It's more about pleasing them or just entertainment. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And being, like, not just saying I'm the realest nigga ever, but you know what I'm saying? Being an actual person or coming from where I come from, like, niggas ain't with all that faking and flodging. Like, all this shit fake. Mm. You just gotta realize that that's the hardest part for me. Cause it'd be like certain shit they be wanting me to do. I'd be like, but it's not me. They be like, it's not about it being you. Mm. It's about what they want. Shit you gotta do. Like, it's just what it is. How you dealing with that at 19? It's hard. That's what the hardest part is. Cause like, I be feeling like I don't be wanting to put on this facade. Cause I really got a life to live at mm-hmm. the same time. Like, but. Shit, it's just what it is. Yeah, because I asked that. Because, like, even, like, of course, at 19, we are, I'm thinking I got to figure it out. But my 19 and your 19 way different. Like, yeah. you up. My 19, I'm still a young nigga. I think I'm in college. Like, For I ain't sure. getting no fucking real money. That's you 19, true. you got a bag. You got success. So it's, I'm assuming it, it's, it will be harder to try to get through to you. Because, like, bro, I got my shit going. Yeah, yeah. It'd be like, I'd be... I be damn near in my head a lot about a lot of shit because I just be, 
I be so locked in on the music shit. And then at the same time, bro, I'm still a young nigga. Like, I know I'm a young nigga, so of course I want to do what I want to do at the same So, like, it just be, shit be. Hitting, what's what's some of the shit you can't, you feel like you can't do that you want to do as, like, just outside of being Lil Darius the rapper, but, like, yeah. if you just want to be a regular 19 year old? Man, bro, like, shit, I think 19 year old want to play the game and shit all day. Just kick it, kick it with some hoes, play the game, you know what I'm saying? Have a good time, go out every now and then. I still like going to amusement parks and shit, you feel mm. me? Like, laser tag and bowling and little yeah. shit like that. Like, bro, this type of shit I be on, I be trying to have fun. But then a the nigga be like, boy, you got to record. <laughs> boy, you got to you gotta go do this press run. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can't really just kick it and shit. And then but because because of the following, it's you got to be strategic other places that you go. Yeah, yeah, you can't be out <laughs> like that. Like, or you can't be kicking it with everybody because you don't know what they own. Or what, like I said before, like... You can't really make friends. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shit just Luckily, I mean, Atlanta, from what I from what I've seen, you can pretty much have a regular life. Cause I see so many celebrities that just Yeah, yeah. Atlanta is good in Atlanta though. Like, but I can't go back to my city and kick it yeah. and shit like that. But in Atlanta though, niggas be outside all yeah, the time. Yeah, like I see like, niggas at Bolero, mm -hmm. like fucking I think I seen Neo or like Cali. Like you it will hella, see it be hella yeah. like celebrities and shit. So that's time. cool. But like, like anywhere else is probably yeah, like, going to the country, like, going where I'm from and shit. Everybody running down, like... Man, I can't even go home, for real. Did you finish school yet? Yeah, I finished. I finished when I was supposed to graduate and everything. You um, you finished doing homeschool? Yeah. How was that, though? Fire-ass tutor. Like, and she the, look good, he, or? No, I'm saying, it's a dude. He, oh. He from New York. He, <laughs> that nigga, he, he the one. Oh, because he was like, fire-ass tutor. Hey, like, look, damn, that, you was hitting the tutor? I would have wanted to have a girl tutor, though. That would have been crazy. I, I probably would have finished. I can see that. I would have been knocking the tutor down. <laughs> I'm like, I'm Tim like that. I'm like that, nigga. I'm like that, man. man for real, for real, not real shit, though. I had a, I had a crazy ass tutor. Shout out to my management, mm -hmm. Martell. He had me a fire ass tutor. Like. So you, you like that experience? Cause I know you said you ain't really care for yeah, school. Yeah, like, I ain't like school anyway. Like, when okay. I was in school, ninth grade year, that's when COVID hit for me. Yeah. 2020, ninth grade year. I barely went to school then. My ninth grade year, I used to go shoot dice and shit. Like, mm -hmm. I never went to school. Used to go to school for hoes. Tenth grade, COVID was still in, so we went back, like, the end of the year, fucking around a little bit. This, I didn't. I used to skip. I had skipped one day with my partner, and then the principal caught us skipping. He kicked me out of school. Mm. So then I went back 11th grade year, and I'm rapping at this point. Wait, matter of fact, I wasn't rapping yet because I started rapping around my birthday. No, hell no. Nah. I was rapping... I was rapping 10th grade, 10th grade, yeah, yeah, yeah. So 11th grade, I'm really having a little shit going on at school okay. when I'm really going to school. So I got the hoes and shit. I'm not going to class. Mm. That shit did. Like, I'm not going. You feel me? So, God damn. This shit, I just went going. My daddy used to drop me off at school. And he used to drop me off. I went the first period. My first period was art. I remember it. My second and third period was like real classes. I didn't go. Went back to school and gym. Mm. Like it was, that's all I was doing. I was skipping like hell. So you ain't. You, it's safe to say you ain't doing no more school. Hell nah. I started going to school that year in December, and then that's when my management got me a tutor all throughout that year. And then that summer came, I got signed. Hell yeah, it was over with. How you signed to a guy? It's like a. a I don't think I ever heard of a label, but basically somebody that just believed in what you had going on. Yeah. And they like start backing you. Mm -hmm. How was? How did that happen? Like how did he find you? And um, how did like? Cause I. Remember you saying you had other deals and shit like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. He he found me. I think it was a, um it was somebody on their team that do uh TikTok. So they found me on TikTok. Like we had my management team so good. Like he was putting money behind me too though. Your management team yeah, yeah, before yeah, you yeah. got signed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So um we used to we had went to LA. It might have been the time that I was mean with everybody, but we had just start doing like TikToks like. Used to just record you and put the lyrics on there and just post them every day, like, and they seen it, like they team seen it. It was driving my screens up and shit. Okay, so the, the, I'm trying to just have an understanding of how, like how it works. So was it a label or was it a person that was interested? Right, so he he had a label. Okay. Yeah, he had his own label. Like, but he used to be at another label. Joey, his name Joey. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Joey. Um, he had he used to be at Interscope. He was like the president, I think. Okay. He broke off and made his own label. So he left Interscope, did his own thing. Then he got artists like overseas and shit like that. I think I was probably the first or second rapper he actually signed. Okay. 
How was the management there? Do you still with them? Yeah. Like, we did like a joint venture. That's what it's called. Okay. Yeah. That's hard. But you, I mean, could you, this ain't a major, like, like could you still could technically do another joint venture, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, So, So, like, this where, this where we getting weird at. Like, I had to learn it. I really didn't know too much about it. Like, you can be, all these labels be, like, under branches. Right. So, like, the big ones are what, like? In the scope. Um, they not even the biggest. It's like it's Warner and shit yeah, on Warner. top of them. So yeah. like it's like bigger ones. So it's like different branches, bro. You could just be with somebody under a branch, do a joint venture with a big label. Like you feel me? I don't really know how it really goes, but yeah. like I can get the gist of it. But you gotta be careful with that because even talking to uh, I was talking to Duke Deuce or whatever, mm -hmm. and he was saying because he had he had signed to an artist who did a joint venture with a, a bigger label, but because the artist and the label fell out. It kind of made it hard for him to. Yeah, to, yeah, to it do most it. definitely could probably do that. I'm not signed. I wouldn't personally sign to no artist though. I think. Okay. So that'd be. Why not? Uh, I feel like once you sign to an artist, you're always gonna be under that. Like you'll never get bigger than that artist. I feel like it. Yeah. The only time that I noticed it happen, I, where I be hearing about it happening, is like with Future and Rocco or some shit like that. That was crazy. Yeah. I was thinking of um the only real examples. Well, outside of that, because that was clear, was uh, Nicki Minaj, um, Drake, and I mean, it's, yeah, yeah, but he, but he like Birdman did like a no, Lord, was, they were signed to Lil Wayne. Oh, young see, money. see, I didn't, I didn't even you feel me. Well, kind of right. I mean, it was Cash Money, Young Young Money, yeah. but they that was Wayne. That was a product of Wayne for sure. Yeah, so like, and that's why, I I, that. yeah, so that's why, um, I think that's part of Wayne legacy. Like, we have never seen. Something like that. I mean, outside of, we might have seen it one other time. Who was it? Young Money. Who? Who would y'all say? I don't know. Nah, Gucci nah. Ain't never Gucci. Had no artist bigger than. No, 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 no. Who? What you? No, 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 no. Who? Who was bigger than? Gu no, he didn't. Oh. But he, he, Gucci man, was different because he had Nicki Minaj before. Oh, see, I, didn't, I don't be knowing by the back history. I'm yeah, finished. yeah, yeah. No, I mean, it's understandable. Yeah, that's yeah, fact, fact, yeah fact. I mean, I ain't got so, it. That's crazy. Right? I ain't know that. Yeah, so Nicki Minaj, when she came out, I think she was with Gucci and his mother, I think, right? Miss Miss Pat was on. Am I saying it right? Miss Deb. Yeah, Miss Debbie. Yeah. Waka. Yeah, Waka. Yeah, she was with Gucci and. Why is she fucking with Miss Debbie? Yeah. I met her when what? I first started rapping. Yeah, before, before Lil Wayne. Mm. Then she got with Lil Wayne. That shit went crazy. I ain't know that. It's crazy. Yeah. So we've seen it, but it, like you said, it's not. It's rare. It's not. A, yeah. It's rare. It's super rare. It's super rare. Yeah. So I don't think I ever do that. Mm. I'm sure. trying to think of some other people, but we've seen Yo Gotti did a great job, but these still anomalies though. Like Yo Gotti did a great job. Like his, his whole CMG his, is crazy. Yeah. He, his lineup stupid. Like, yeah. He got it. One of the him and I think I think Baby lined up crazy right now. In a sense. Baby? Yeah, it ain't Yo Gotti line up, though. But, you know, he got, like, he got, like, V. I'm saying, like, I don't even know if they all signed to him, but I'm just saying, like, as them running with each other, like, with Rallo and V's and shit like okay. that. Like, they got some little cool shit going I on. I like, I, them, I ain't gonna lie, them Detroit niggas is going crazy. Them niggas going crazy. I fuck with Detroit heavy. You know, like, um, when I started rapping, my manager, Martel, his, him and Hell of a Cousins. So, wow. I, I be fucking with Hell of a through. My manager and hell of a put me on like all of them. So like, I was going to Detroit early. I went to that was my first place I ever left like and got on the plane and went to. It was in November. I remember I went to Detroit. Um, I did like six songs with hell of a, but I was supposed to do a whole collab tape with him, but I never even got to it. Wow. But yeah, yeah, that's how I be fucking with Skilla and all them V's, everybody. Like, you ain't never do no music with them. I did a song. I got a song with Skilla, Babyface, Ray, and Peasy. That's crazy. Yeah, I got some little shit with them. Sheesh. They all you, dropped too. You gotta go would forward. you consider them like the older niggas or still young niggas? Like, I think uh, Peasy and Babyface Ray, for sure. Like, they like the older niggas. But um, Skill is like a young young turnt nigga, bro. Because you can't cause you can't come on here and say that you're not fucking with the older niggas, but then... Nah, like, because them niggas is rocking fuck, with you. I ain't saying I don't fuck with older niggas. Like, I'm just saying, like... Well, they ain't like, fucking with you. When you them like, niggas got fucking, seem like they fucking with I you. I mean, they fuck with me. I'm saying, like, as far as, like, a nigga taking you under his wing and just doing that. That's yeah. what I, I... Let me rephrase that, matter of fact. Like, nigga, a nigga ain't took me under his wing just... You feel me? You know what's funny? Like that, though. Nah, I was going to say, but you know what's funny? I, I had to learn this. And it's the crazy thing about it, because, like, we probably looking for some help. Yeah. Right? 
the whole time when you turn, like when you really got motion, mm. it be it be a couple of reasons. But one of the reasons be nigga feel like you don't need help. Not in a bad way. Like I'm not about to come in, try to put you on my wing because like you got, you lit. Yeah. But whole time a nigga need help. Yeah, like niggas fair, looking at fair. you like, man, that nigga turned. Like he got it going on. Yeah, whole time sure. you looking at a nigga like, bro, like help me. Nigga, yeah, please. Me. I just feel like when when people see like certain artists and shit fuck with you, bro, they fuck with you more. Mm. So like, I feel like a nigga could just be like, like a cosign. Co-sign. Yeah, 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 facts. Baby that. did it w- with me before though. Mm. Real nigga. He fought with me. How was that that time? Um, it was good. Like, some shit supposed to went down that didn't go down though. Like, we were supposed to do something like with each other and like and a song it, or something. Not not even a song. I'm saying like, um, like some cosign shit. Okay. But it something happened in between, whatever. I don't know really. You know what I'm saying? But um, he was fucking with me though. Yeah. Well, I'm still fuck with me. I ain't gonna lie. He's still. Nah, that's me. bro. I mean, cosign from. Baby at a time. I mean, still even now. Niggas, I feel like niggas give him a lot now. But I feel like it's because he came out so hot. Yeah, that nigga, that nigga was doing it. That bro, was my favorite rapper. Like, he my favorite rapper. He came out blazing, bro. Like, that's why I think niggas give him a hard time now. Yeah, he, he was so hot. He was so hot and it, he was just going up, 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 up. Yeah. So, like, niggas ain't used to no nigga that was doing that just chilling for yeah. a minute. You know what I'm saying? But it's crazy because even now he got some shit, even with that, that Mr. C shit. That? Isn't it Mr. C? That's the song he got, right? Central, Central C. C. My oh, yeah, bad. Yeah, I said Mr. C. I'm Central tri- C. Yeah, yeah, that shit go crazy. We don't want nothing to do with Mr. C. My bad. You don't know nothing about that. You don't need to know nothing about that. He got some that. shit with Bossman D logo crazy. Bro. That shit crazy. To me, that's the hottest young nigga out. Bossman D logo? That nigga? That nigga go. He Let- not young, though, bro. See? <laughs> that nigga not young. I fuck with you, What's bro. What's not man? young? I'm saying to me, how old I'm is, a young nigga. How old is he? I'm a young nigga. He like 26. They say that, he 30? Hey, nigga, nah, he got on one interview that he was like, they tell me I don't 40, nigga. I ain't 40. Didn't they I do think that? the nigga like 33. Didn't they do that to uh, he like, damn, he 33, 33 though? He probably, he probably like, nah, I ain't saying. <laughs> I'm saying though, listen, no, 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 no. Look, I'm finna do this. I'm finna do this. <laughs> it's old to a point where you saying like, yeah, nigga, I'm the hottest young and turn. Bro, you're not young and turn. Nah, like, fact. You feel me? That's what I feel. Didn't like. they do that to um, uh, Yo Gotti? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't they do that to Gotti at one point? I don't know. I don't he know. said, I don't know. I don't know nothing about all that. I'm just saying, I don't, I don't support old niggas saying they young and turn. I oh, don't yeah, nah, nah, that. nah, nah. I don't, I don't support that shit either. Like, nah, if you... But ain't nothing wrong with just being turned. Yeah, turn for sure. Like, yeah, if I'm that turned. nigga turned. But don't just be like, I'm young and turned. Bitch, yeah. you 35. Yeah. You ain't you shit pushing, young about you. You pushing 40. Yeah, nigga. And, turnt, and turnt, it's okay. Man, just be okay. old and turned, nigga. Man, yeah, I'm yeah. middle aged and turned. Like, it's, <laughs> it's okay. Nigga be pushing 40 to my they young turn. Nah, Bob Man D-Lo, he going crazy. Bro, I, so I say young nigga because I feel like he's younger than me. I'm 33. So mm. I feel like he one of the newer rappers. Newer rappers, for sure. Yeah, and I personally, bro, I don't be liking the new rappers, bro. I say this a hundred times. It'd be like that. But like, not let me not say that. Let me let me be responsible with my platform. I don't not like them. Yeah. I'm just not a fan of the music nowadays. Yeah, music now weak as hell. Yes. So when I hear Boss Man D Lo, I'm like, this some shit. Like this nigga go. He rap for older niggas though. <laughs> I, no, I'm saying, bro. Oh my, he he no, turned. This, he be, that's gonna be a clip. That's man, part of his shit. He 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 turned though. Like he got down. I listen to him too. He 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 everywhere. Nah, it's cool, bro. You but like, shit like, for like older niggas. He, he most definitely on some shit like some Jeezy shit or something like older <laughs> niggas. You feel me? Like he talked that shit though. He, he said that some shit. Jeezy shit or something. He talked that shit. So though. who the who the who the who the hottest young niggas then? Right now, bro, it's like it go out to like fucking Skilla, Rod, Rod 49, goddamn, um, damn, YTB Fat, shit like that. Like, okay. them, them niggas that got their shit going on for sure. Like, them niggas turn. Nah, Rod 49. Huncho. 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 I, you remind me of Huncho a little bit. What's your dog. music? Your sound? Yeah, for sure. I fold with you. Me and him got a song dropping tomorrow. The okay. night, midnight. I can see that. I can see, like, I can, that's what I was thinking about. I can see that. Yeah. This nigga, I feel like. I don't know, like, cause I did an interview with him, right? And that interview did good. And I, I, I wasn't expecting it to do that good. When was it? It was recent. No. Oh, that's the thing. Like, it was early, but it did mad good. It was back when he did um, what's his first hot song? Let's get it. Yeah, let's get it. And it, it was, was probably cool. like a year after that. Mm-hmm. So, it went crazy. And I'm like, okay, but I still ain't understand. 
Now that nigga just went super crazy. Where the fuck this come from? Like he, this, he did a girl. Like he he switched his his route. Yeah, you feel me like this. He found himself. Like that's what in a sense that's what I'm on. Like I'm trying to find myself too at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta find yourself in this shit. I like that, bro. I'm not mad at that. I say that because I he was hot then, right? Mm -hmm. So the fact that he was able to switch a sound and it go up, it should only motivate a nigga like you or any yeah, other young nigga. And, like, then, and then he, of course, he had cosigns and shit like that. But his tape that went crazy, it was dolo for real. My daughter asked to go to one of his concerts. I'm like, he that nigga like what around our age? Like it's that nigga. Yeah, he nah. like the new baby. Like nah, he is from the city. He going crazy. That shit. So do you like this whole, I guess, I mean, clearly the melodic thing is, is the wave. Yeah. But me personally, I would I like Let's Get It. So when I hear the the, the love, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. like, do you like, as far as yourself, would you, are you tapping into the love? Yeah, my whole next take is a girl take. How yeah. your people like it? That's like, that's my most solo. Like, that's my most, that's my wave. I got a song called Meant For You. It's a girl song. Okay. It got like probably like 1.4, mil, 1.5 million on YouTube, some shit like that. But it's only me, like no features or nothing. You know what I'm saying? So it's like what they like for me. Yo, do you? I'm starting to see a trend then. Because we seen Skilla Baby just recently talk about how. The girl shit was saying. Yeah. It's but, the way. And I'm curious, do, do you feel a similar way where it's like you kind of want to make other music, but you almost feel like you're forced to make the girl um, music? In a sense. Like, that's what they want. You got to get these people what they want. That's what markets. Mm. So you got to go after what markets. Like, that's what I said about the fake shit. Just got to be that sometimes. Don't get me wrong. I like rapping to the girls. Like, that's my strongest. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I talk this shit. I be on that young nigga shit. But the girls, like, when I talk to them and talk about my life problems with relationships and shit, mm. you know? So if you had it your way, you would that you would do girl music? Mm. I rap to the girls. That's cool. In a sense. Who's some of the the hot hot young female artists coming out? And not like Lotto. All the, all the female artists hot. Facts, yeah. You can, yeah, yeah, you right. I, I Who's some of lie. your favorite then? We, we got to be careful. We talking about women. Sissy Red. Be she my favorite. I yeah. love Sissy Red. Yeah. No cap. I got on the phone with her recently. I was scared as shit. You was scared? I was scared. I be talking all that shit to my little Sissy. I see her. I'm do this, that. Got on the phone. Froze, Nico. You remember that shit? You ain't say get it sexy? Man, I was like, hey. She like, hey. I'm like. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> nah. <laughs> you I got a video, cap. bro. I got a video. That shit. So I'm going to show it to you when we get that. Yo, that shit you so, cap, bro. I swear to God. I was scared of shit. How you freeze on sexy? I don't know, bro. You I don't know. Flies, and bro. I, 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 got, I think she she ended up following me or some shit because my my um, my um my buddy Tay Keith. I did a whole take with him. Like, you yeah. got motion, nigga. Yeah, man. He take just keep name, like, subtle name drop, like yeah, hello, take keys, like nah, nah, for sure, man. I got some little shit going on. Nah, uh, so take you key, saying, I think he put that together for us. So you gonna have a uh, little Darius sexy red? Hopefully, I'm working on it. I get a song with sexy. I ain't gonna lie, I'm on that straight young nigga shit. Nobody not gonna be able to tell me shit. Yeah, nah, she going crazy. Niggas be hating on sexy red. I don't know why, but she just be herself. I like that shit. I love it too. I don't give yeah, a fuck. I like that shit. <laughs> I fuck what? That nigga, ratchet shit be lit. Nigga, what? Ah, nigga. So like, when I say okay, so but she hot. She like, I don't look at Are sexy you red. So, as, okay, some young like like how you bro. It be so it be so iffy with like young up and coming people because like they might have a song that's hot from TikTok. And then after that, it's over with. So I can't really say, like, who got something that who just Who the hottest going? niggas on TikTok? Or, girl, or, yeah, people. I have no clue, bro. I don't even be knowing them. Like, I just know the song. I like, hate that. I, will, I would hate that as an artist, though. That, that's why I'm glad. With me, bro, it's not people that know a song. From, that's another thing about me. Like, that's why I say I'm trying to find myself. Bro, people just know me for me. Like, oh, yeah, that dares that be with different girls or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Young nigga shit. You got music here, rapper. But you don't know, like... Yeah, he got that one song. Like, it's not that. Yeah. Niggas ain't saying that. As much as that's a... Uh, I was just talking, about somebody, talking to somebody yesterday. Um, Her name is um Next Youngin. Mm -hmm. And she had like a song that went 10 million views on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And I'm like... um, I was just saying how sometimes going viral can be like a disadvantage. Mm -hmm. And it's crazy like because as an artist, as fortunate and blessed as it can be to have a song go crazy. But if like... It can be a gift and a curse. Yeah, it's like if you don't know me and you only... I don't know. I, like, I don't know how I feel about that. I hate that shit. I would have hated if I had a song that went viral and nobody knew who the fuck I was. Like, if I'm walking outside and nobody just know who the fuck you is. And you know my song? 
Like, bro, that's me. No. That's me right here, man. Oh, that's you. <laughs> like, whatever. <laughs> oh shit! For real though, <laughs> like I just wouldn't want to be that nigga. Damn, ain't nothing wrong with them type of niggas. Like this, some shit so crazy though. That's what I study. Like, mm. I don't even study hits and this that. I study how not to fall off. <laughs> like, I mean, that's a great way to look at it. I'm being real. Like, that's my biggest fear. So I, I from a young nigga, right? Yeah. A, a hot young nigga that's coming up. When you say fall off, what is that? What is that to you? How does that look? Man, you just finished like you had this and you had that and you was dead and like, yeah, you had. You Give me had. a time frame though, cause sometimes how do we let niggas live out their career? And I it mean, just yeah, was a yeah, good career. rap, rap don't last long. You got going that shit thinking you're not gonna last long anyway. I feel like. So give me a time frame of what's like, let's say one year fall off. What's the time frame to like a good successful career to that nigga fell off? I really, I can't tell you. Yeah, they gonna say every nigga that was that had something going on. Or it was doing dropping hit like not wishing it on nobody and like when boss man D Lo died down, like they gonna be like he fell off. Like he might not even fall off, he just had his time. Yeah. Like sliding niggas like that. I don't wanna get the same niggas. Yeah, no, no. So for example, I'm thinking like, would you say Jeezy fell off? Nah, see. Right, that's what I'm saying. Okay, so facts. So if your legacy lives on, you can't fall off. Okay. Like, I don't think babe, they say baby fell off. I don't personally think he'll ever fall off because his shit gonna forever be like. Boy, y'all remember that shit was crazy. Them times we was listening to that baby, like, niggas will always go back and listen to it. Ah, okay. So uh, you feel weird about that? I don't know because it was so short-lived. Because, not, I think he's still hot right now. But, like, just hypothetically speaking, like, nah. Because I don't think he gave us five. Did he Did he give us five years? Shit, it was I like think 2017? you got to years. Huh? Yeah. 2017? I, I think you got to do, I think I would say 10 years. If you give me 10 years, you did. I think yeah. I think at least gonna, 10 I years. think if he he got to come with some shit, he come with some shit, he going to do it. Yeah. Niggas know he dead though like, but I ain't going to lie, it's just how social media is, bro, like they'll take something and just run with it. Like yeah. that social media fucked up. Like niggas can't even really get their own opinion on something cuz if they saying it, if if this shit gets said 5 times, you not even going to say how you feel. You just going to either Repeat run with, with it the- or not say nothing at all and this shit just going to keep running on. Facts. So, That's 100% right. You sure. right. But nah, I think I don't know. I think baby I, I wouldn't say he fell off yet. Mm. Like, cause he's still dropping shit that's going crazy. Yeah, you he's, can't he's say straight. he fell off. They yeah. just, bro, he just not, nigga not going to keep putting out goddamn stupid shit like that all the time. Yeah. Like that, my turn shit, he just was on one. Like, yeah. niggas ain't going to forever do that. Like, it's a lot of rappers that ain't put out that every time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It just don't be that. Nah, that's a fact. Nah, I like that, man. This is good, bro. What you got coming up next, man? Um, like I said, I'm finna drop this uh, girl tape. It's going to be called Her Point of View. Mm-hmm. Um, shit gonna be crazy. What you talking about her her point of view? How, what you know about it? Shit, this way all the hoes tell me. <laughs> 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 nah, real yeah. shit, real shit though. Like I'm just speaking real though. This like, a slick young nigga, bro. <laughs> he is crazy. Nah, I'm just talking shit, bro. But like I'm talking like her point of view for real though. Like shit that I be doing, I know I be fucking up and this and that, and I'm mm. just and how I be feeling about certain situations and shit. I got some crazy shit on there. Mm. Like if. If everybody that, if everybody just sit and listen to it, I think they'll be they'll be like, all right, I might be a fan of this young nigga. So you say you trying to we about to wrap up. You say you trying to find yourself on this tape. Are you are we going to be able to see different flows to see that you plan? Yeah, I had a couple. I had a couple different flows, but I just feel like this tape just gonna show me. Okay, like I done seen some little dick round hang shit on tape. So nigga, like I sound like a nigga all the time. Niggas say that. Like, I sound Wait, like I sound like somebody else all the time. I never okay, have been okay. me. You feel me? So, okay, okay. I feel like this can be me. But, yeah. Oh, I mean. It's weird. Like, somebody done said that, though. He was like, he was like, every time you, you sound like somebody else. Like, sound like yourself. So, you don't have no identity. Yeah, almost. yeah. I, so, the fact that you're finding yourself, right? Because mm-hmm. I feel like we could find, in every nigga that's hating on any type of criticism, critique, we could find something. Yeah. And I wanted, how, how do you feel about that? Do you... Is it some I truth in that? I, yeah, I guess you could say it for sure. Some songs I try to do that though. Like I might say it's called that flow or something like that. But I feel like um niggas could say that because I I rap what I want to listen to. So I listen to bro and I tr- like rap like some shit I listen to. Like mm. it's just it's how I just was rapping all the time. So but everybody gonna always sound like somebody like mm. coming out. The only 
Well, even niggas say, uh, I just seen an interview, a nigga was like, um, Boss Man D-Lo sound like Detroit niggas. Like, in- niggas just say anything, though. They gonna say something. Okay. You feel me? Like, you know what's funny, bro? Do you understand? You probably don't, but maybe. It's, that's okay at your age. Like, not to be the old nigga. Mm. Like, bro, you're 19. So it's like, I'm listening. It's like, like, that's really okay. Like, if you trying to find your sound, if you yeah, sound like, like, you got so much time. And again, I'm not trying to sound like an old nigga, but that's some old nigga shit to say. But I'm looking at it like, you can be okay with living in that and just figuring it out. Yeah, facts. I think, I think, like I say though, bro, this one gonna really just show, like, all right, I can really be a fan of him. You know what I'm saying? Mm. For sure. Okay, what what would it sound closest to if you had a? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I guess since it's an all girls tape and he just did it, niggas gonna say Huncho. Like, mm. you know what I'm saying? So, I guess you can say that. But I ain't really saying it's dick. Like, I'm on my own shit. Yeah, not like that. How you? So how you feel about walking into this new space where you at? Man, I feel good. I ain't gonna lie. It's just fresh eye opener. I ain't dropping in a minute. Um, I've been chilling. Been giving y'all niggas a lot of time to do what y'all want to do. Um, I'm trying to do my thing now. Ain't how gonna do lie. you how do you feel the presence? Like when you post it, do it still feel like before? I don't feel like before, cause like I said, bro, I took time. Like, I just feel like you can't never chill in this shit, bro. You gotta stay at it. Like, I took too much time off. Like, you know what I'm saying? When dropping, when consistent, you got to stay consistent. You got to keep going. Like, you can't never take your foot off the gas. It wasn't even a sense of me taking my foot off the gas or or nothing like that. It was just, like, as a whole, like, me and my team, we just sat back and chilled and not even got comfortable, but just went doing what we were supposed to do. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But, nah, nigga, on that, though. Like, I'm Nah, weird. man, this is good, bro. I, I, I want to I, I'm gonna do more of these, bro, with, like, just sit down, chop it up with the young niggas. Cause yeah, I was funny, it's funny, I was talking to my producer. I don't like talking to y'all young niggas, man. Hey, it's a lot of young niggas that don't that not like me though. Yeah, like, nah, you, know you like niggas you, be tripping. You a hundred I'm giving you your flowers right now. Like you hundred percent open my eyes of like wanting to talk to some young niggas because they don't be like you. Like yeah. without like on some not on no dick eating shit, pause. But like, nah, bro, like you got good energy, like I said. Nah, for sure, bro. I appreciate um, it. Yeah, man. You definitely made me a little more open to talking to some more young niggas, man. Yeah, these niggas be tripping, crashing, yeah. just not... Mine ain't on... Yeah, mine be on some more other shit. I a little different. You, ever, I, you never seen this, but my niggas in the back, you ever seen the commercial like, this is your brain on drugs? <laughs> <laughs> That's what these niggas... <laughs> this nigga yeah. don't know nothing about that. Hell when nah. you go home, put that shit on YouTube, you'll see. Like, what the fuck, son? But nah, man, for the people that don't know, they know. But uh, let them know how to follow you, how to uh, the shit you got coming out and all that. Oh uh, yeah, make sure y'all go follow me at Lil Darius on all platforms, man. That's me. Um, like I said, her point of view finna get ready to drop. I got this song with Huncho finna drop tonight, and I'm on it, man. Yeah. Already, Mr. J Hill, J Hill Podcast is rap. We out.